Well, Kenya Railways has commissioned its express service to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, which is expected to ease travelers' burden as construction peaks along Mombasa Road, as Faisal Ahmed reports. The commissioning of the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport Express Service by Kenya Railways Corporation comes a month after it commissioned the DMUs to ply key routes in Nairobi. <laughs> The plan, which is part of the Nairobi City Commuter Railway, is expected to become competitive, especially with the ongoing construction of the expressway that has seen motorists spend hours along Mombasa Road between JKI Turnoff and Waiyaki Way. That for us to have a robust transportation system, public transportation system, we must make sure that all the subsectors work in harmony. We have to make sure the evasion systems or sector like this one, Jamokinata Airport, is well connected with the railway system. We have to make sure that the airport systems are well connected with the BRT system. Travel time between the CBD and Jomo Kenyatta International Airport having been increased by more than an hour due to the construction of the expressway currently ongoing, Kenya Railways claims that it will take you less than half an hour between the central station and the Embakasi station where you will connect to the bus to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Let's go ahead and see if that is actually true. And like clockwork, 20 minutes later, we were at the Embakasi station. And in just 12 minutes, we got to JKIA, this reducing the road journey by at least half. However, train fares vary. For an express trip, which took us 32 minutes from the central station to Embakasi station, with no stops in between, and a further connection with a BRT bus will cost you 500 shillings. But if you opt for a regular train with several stops before it gets to the final station, it will cost you 100 shillings with an extra 40 shillings for the BRT bus to the airport terminal. Now, we have what we call common users, especially the airport workers, employees, who will have a flat rate. We'll have a flat rate for them from Nairobi to the airport. At that we have a rate, maybe Kenya Ways, Kenya, uh, Kura, Kenya, we have a flat rate and they will have cards. Uh, that will, they will be used to move by the DMUs. Mainga further said that since the launch of the DMUs by President Uhuru Kenyatta, they have ferried more than 200,000 passengers and with six more DMUs expected to land in the country before the end of January next year, he anticipates this number will double. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, 